interrupted you. Let's just try and listen in to uh, what's happening at CII. We know no one's speaking on stage right now. Let's just go across and see what's happening. Chandrajit Banerjee, Director General CII, Ajay Sriram, Vice President CII, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of CII, it is my privilege to welcome Sri Rahul Gandhi to the CII Annual General Meeting 2013. Rahulji, this is your first address to the business community at CII in your current capacity. Although we've had the privilege of hosting you at several CII centers, including the one in the Northeast in Guwahati back in 2004. Rahulji, you represent the youth of India today and symbolize the promise of our future. We are therefore particularly happy that you have joined us at our AGM focused on India of tomorrow, imperatives of growth, security, and governance. These are all critical issues for India, and we can only achieve our potential if we are successfully able to resolve the many divergent pulls into a cohesive whole that represents the aspirations of our people. Thank you for your time and sharing your perspectives with us today. Bravo have caught the imagination of the people and must have given you a ground-level perspective of their travails and concerns. Millions of people in rural India still live below the poverty line, and there are many issues related to health, education, and sanitation that need urgent attention. The yawning gap between Bharat and India needs to be bridged. India has the largest and most vigorous democracy in the world. We are proud of our secular traditions, which have seen individuals from diverse regions and religions, castes and communities rise to the highest ranks. It is this knowledge and confidence that distinguishes us from many other countries. Our political system is sometimes noisy and chaotic, but it does represent every shade of political thought. The Indian economy has shown growth and resilience at a time when the developed economies of the world had slackened. The global slowdown has halted India's growth trajectory temporarily, despite government's quick measures. Since then, the Indian economy has been experiencing troubles related to industrial growth, decelerating investments and in savings, export performance, and inflation. However, we at CII are confident that the underlying macroeconomic fundamentals continue to remain strong and that we will quickly reprise the high growth plan. At the same time, we are conscious that much more needs to be done. Continued reforms and liberalization of the industrial environment are a national priority. Some key initiatives for national competitiveness that remain on the table are the goods and services tax, fast tracking of large infrastructure projects, particularly highways and power, and a balanced land acquisition policy that will boost industrial growth. Yesterday, Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh and several cabinet ministers assured us in their addresses that they are committed to resolving these issues. Our performance on many social development parameters is far below our aspirations. Although the government has done much to address the needs of the more vulnerable sections of the population with initiatives such as the Common Minimum Program, growth is uneven with many regions and many sections of our population lagging behind. India, as many other economies, has seen the unfortunate phenomenon of jobless growth, something that accentuates inequity and has the potential for social unrest. Employment, education, and entrepreneurship, therefore, must be central concerns. The top agenda for development is unlocking the potential of our biggest asset, our people. CII for many years has understood that businesses cannot succeed in societies that have failed. It has therefore leveraged its position as a leading industry organization to drive an intense development agenda. For this, we recognize the future lies in the hands of our youth. We have therefore started a movement within CII called YI, Young Indians. This is a platform to enable participation of the youth 
from all walks of life to collaborate and create the India of tomorrow. Rahulji, we encourage you to consider your patronage and involvement in this CII initiative. It is important that we bring all our stakeholders on the same page and enhance our efforts collaboratively. At this point today, I cannot help but recount the immense support and encouragement that CII had received from your late father, Prime Minister Sri Rajiv Gandhi, who had imparted a directional shift to the roles of government and industry in shaping the future of our country. Soon after he had assumed charge as Prime Minister, he had invited CII to accompany him to Moscow. This was perhaps the first time that a business delegation was part of the official delegation. His initiatives transformed the relationship between government and industry, ushering in a new era of collaboration between the two in evolving critical policies, giving the highest importance to private enterprise, technology, and globalization. He played an instrumental role in liberalizing and reforming the Indian economy. The trust and confidence that he bestowed on us helped CII take on a much larger role in economic development. As a result, Indian industry today has come of age. It is now global in outlook, innovative in mindset, and competitive in practices. It has internalized the tenets of corporate governance and social responsibility, inclusivity, sustainability, and global competitiveness are its abiding principles. Industry can strongly partner the government in inclusive growth and social development, leveraging the tools of technology. With that promise, may I now invite Sri Rahul Gandhi to share his views with us on the India of tomorrow. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>